It started with the bang a while ago, 15 billion years old. Part of the snow leads to little old me. My family tree, I'm related to a star, I'm related to pre. Cambrian stromatolites under the ocean. Natural selection caused a commotion. And here I am, right in the middle, just a piece of a long biological riddle. But I'll try to look at things from another perspective. Brown from Brennan said I should be reflective. So, here I go. Let me know if I should sing slow I'm the youngest of three and that affects me Always tagging along cause I wanted to see What the older kids did cause it was cool I'd repeat what they said the next day at school They all went to college so I did too Thought I knew what I'd do but I hadn't a clue Till a few years through in general ed A couple neurons fired inside my head And I said if it weren't for the circumstances Surrounding my birth I wouldn't be me I have food on my plate, batteries and my toys, and a lovely family. From a nice little town with nice little steeples, the land of upper middle class Republican people. And there I was, right in the middle, just a piece of a socioeconomic riddle. To conclude, I really think I have a say When it comes to the person I am today I don't know, I don't know Can a domino take a step out of the row? I don't think so Unless an outer force happens to collide And cause a change of course But in the end, I still feel a little bit bleary Of Bronfer Brenner's ecological theory Microsystem is the first in Broffenbrenner's ecological theory. It consists of immediate relationships and activities. The system demonstrates how different settings in which people live and the groups they're involved in affect their development. These interactions shape an individual's development through direct contact. Some examples of these settings and groups are schools, neighborhoods, family, and peer groups. In this system, the individual also helps with the construction of the setting. The relationships in the system are reciprocal, whereas the child influences the parent and the parent influences the child. I can't really remember the last time I had a chance to go in the backyard and just run around. School's just so much pressure that every day I would wake up dreading it. I'm afraid that our children are going to sue us for stealing their childhoods. I would spend six hours a night on my homework. You have to get into the top school. You have to take tests and do interviews. It's gone way to the extreme. We're all caught up in it. In America, if you don't earn a lot of money, something went wrong. The pressure comes from the colleges, from the parents, from the government, but it has to stop. You have to do well now so you can get into a good college. Everyone expects us to be superheroes. You have a fear from the parents that my kid needs to be able to get a job. How do you expect us to do well when you can't even make mistakes? You're dedicating your whole life to your grades. You have to be smart and you have to be involved in the arts. I have soccer practice every day, plus the homework on top of that. Produce, produce, produce. It's impossible. I couldn't cope. I've gone through bouts of depression just because you feel so swamped. I almost like had an emotional breakdown. There have been six suicides in our school district. Our students are pressured to perform. They're not necessarily pressured to learn deeply and conceptually. So what is that going to mean when we have a whole population of dentists and doctors who have been trained from a script? Things that actually get our students to think are pushed aside. These kids come to the table with this creativity and this love of learning. Let's just not take it out of them. I think the United States really needs to rethink how we do schooling. The economic future of the country depends on our addressing this. We need to redefine success for kids. It's got to be something we do together. All of us as a society, almost as a movement. Jobs need you to be a critical thinker. They need you to be a problem solver. We need to really think, what does it take to produce a happy, motivated, creative human being?
SL system refers to the situations and events in which two of the microsystems come together. People and events from the microsystem interact to form a new experience for the child, creating the meso system. They can be long-term and reoccurring, like a family holiday, or they can be a one-time event, like a school field trip. An example of the meso system would be a child who has certain behavior expectations at home and different expectations at school, requiring them to transition from each setting on how they behave. This is one of the many adjustments the child has to make. Another example would be if the child's parents are divorced. This creates numerous new meso systems for the child. For example, if the parents come together for the child's birthday, they now have to combine the two individual microsystems together because they are occurring at the same time. Meso systems can be hard to learn for a child because they have to learn how to act in each situation and what is acceptable. Once you grow older, this simply becomes a natural process that you no longer have to think about. The exosystem consists of things that the child does not directly interact with, but influence its development anyway. One of the most common examples of this is the parent's workplace. The child does not directly interact with the workplace or coworkers, yet if it is a stressful environment, the parent brings that home and it affects the child. If the parent receives a raise but has to travel more, it may result in less quality time with the child but a better standard of living. Another example is the child's extended family. Most children don't interact with their extended family on an everyday basis, but their parents have been shaped by them, and the holidays or reunions help shape the child's concept of family. A third example is the child's church. This can either influence only their parents, thus influencing them, or it can dictate the very way they live their life, as in the Amish. Their religion so influences their life that it almost takes it out of the exosystem and into the macrosystem, which includes culture. Bronfenbrenner's macro system is the cultural and societal context within their, within their laws, customs, rituals, resources, and cultural tools. In the United States, laws, customs, and values make up a large part of how we are raised. We are raised with the belief that everyone should attend school. In fact, it is required by law that everyone attends school. Our society is based largely on education. It is our cultural value that everyone gets a good education goes to college, gets married, buys a big house, has kids, drives a fancy car, and lives, lives happily ever after. This is known as the American dream. We are raised thinking that we have to make as much money as we possibly can. Other countries, however, raise their children in a culture where they have to do whatever it takes to survive. The notion of a carefree childhood is not something enjoyed by the majority of Afghan children. The war years saw to that. The country has one of the highest rates of illiteracy in the world. Only 25% of boys continue their education as far as secondary school, and 85% of girls cannot read or write at all. Most children have to work from a very young age to support their families financially. Spandy is a form of aggressive begging. Boys wave hot coals to ward off the evil eye in return for a little cash. It's a rough life and they grow up fast. Hamed is one of the Spandy boys. He took me to his house, deep in the slums of Kabul. That is a toilet. It was destroyed by the snow. And next to the toilet is the well, which is also destroyed. That room over there doesn't have any windows or a door, and it's very cold. And this window doesn't have any glass, only plastic. And the roof is also broken. It's very cold in my house. I have one brother and four sisters. We don't have proper shoes or sandals. Sometimes we don't even have bread or wood at home. His friend Majati, another Spandi beggar, lives nearby. 
from the chair would The day that it snowed, we didn't have any food to eat at home. We had to break a ladder to burn on the fire, just to make some tea for us. If we have wood, then we can burn it. If not, we just sit and try to stay warm. If I work and make money, then I can buy wood. I buy tea, I buy flour. I have to buy everything for the family. Do you go to school? I was in school, but I stopped going to school because I had to work as a spanker. Afghanistan is the fourth poorest country in the world. A quarter of children do not live to see their fifth birthday. Each system contains roles, norms and rules that can powerfully shape development. The next time you interact with people, think about how those interactions have affected you as a person.